Hey guys, it is Jessie and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to try to keep this video from being like 35 minutes long and I'm going to share all the books that I got during the month of March. These are all books that were sent to me so I'm really excited and cannot thank the PR, the publishing houses, and the authors enough for sending these all my way. So if you guys want release dates, you want the synopsis, or you want to buy a copy of the books, I will leave all that information down below. It'll be linked through Amazon. I do get a small commission for everything, so obviously if you guys purchase through Amazon, I would really greatly appreciate you guys using that link. It helps support this channel. Obviously, if you don't want to, totally fine. I understand, but that information will all be there for you on all of these books, so if you guys want, because like I said, I don't want this to be super long, so I'm just going to give you guys a little bit about each one, and then we're just going to move on. So, the first books that I am going to share are all from my really good friends over at Little Bird Publicity. They are so sweet, and there was three books that they partnered with Hatchet for, so that's really exciting. Um, and then one of them is with Amazon, um, their imprint of Lake Union. So I'm going to share the three that were with Hatchet first. The first one is The Sacrifice of Sunshine Girl by Paige McKenzie. Now I had no idea that this even existed. Apparently it's like a little mini web series through YouTube. I've never heard of it, but after seeing this I'm really intrigued. Not only does the show, but the books also get really good like reps. So I'm intrigued by it. I want to look into it, do a little bit more research. Might have to kind of dive into this world myself. If you guys have heard of it or you've watched the show, please comment below and let me know what your guys' thoughts are. The next one is Lessons from the Prairie by Melissa Francis. I have not read or watched any of the little House on the Prairie shows, but I think this does kind of catch my attention because it's a little bit more of the self-help kind of book. It's nonfiction. It's a little more outside of my comfort zone, and I think it does sound pretty interesting, so we'll see if I get around to it anytime soon. Um, there's definitely, like I said, a big stack, a lot of releases coming your way, so I don't know what I'll get to, especially with the new baby coming, but that is there for you. And then there is Harry, Life, Loss, and Love by Katie Nichol. Like a lot of you, I really love the royal family, and so I think seeing this other side and getting to know Harry and Meghan is going to be so cool and fascinating, and then especially with their upcoming wedding. So just seeing kind of how he kind of grew up, what he was up to, how he met Megan, how they fell in love, all that good stuff. It should be really cute. Again, something a little bit more outside of my normal realm of reading. And then Little Bird paired with um, Amazon Publishing and Lake Union to release Catherine Ryan Hyde's latest, which is Heaven Adjacent. This comes out on June 19th. I really liked Catherine Ryan Hyde's Ali and B, which I read a little while ago. I loved the story. I loved the characters. I felt like everything about it felt so real and down to earth. They had real problems, real situations, like things you can actually see happening in everyday life that could happen to you. And so it was very relatable. And so I liked that aspect of it. I liked that the writing was really well done. And so kind of diving into another one, I'm looking forward to seeing if it follows that same kind of pattern and if she's going to be like an auto buy author or someone that I always enjoy. Um, so yeah, there's this one coming out in June, and I'm really looking forward to it. Again, the cover is gorgeous. And then I got sent a stack of books from the amazing people at Touchstone. So thank you so much to Kelsey in particular for working with me and getting these books my way. The first one is Bachelor Girl by Kim Van Alchemied. Alchemied? I'm not quite sure how you say that one. This is super, super, like on my list. I've seen a lot of people rave about it, and I love historical fiction. I think that will fit the bill really well, especially this one too, The Good at Heart by Ursula Werner. Again, I believe all of these are out. Um, this is one that was recently released. I've seen a ton of people talk about. The cover's really cool, and I was instantly intrigued by the storyline. It is The Last Equation of Isaac Severy by Nova Jacobs. I just think it looks so, so good. Uh, so I was really excited for that. Um, so thank you so much, Kelsey. Another one that I've heard a really amazing things about, and I think that the story itself is really interesting and different, and it is The Other Side of Everything by Lauren Doyle Owens. So um, Bex from Out of the Bex, actually, I think this was one of her first five-star reads of the year, so I instantly had to add it to my TBR, and then when Kelsey sent it, I was super excited. So there's that. 
Then the last one, which also kind of fits that like mystery kind of thriller suspense, is going to be The Glass Forest by Cynthia Swan Swanson. And again, this is another one that's getting a lot of hypes and a lot of raves, and I've heard really good things. A lot of my friends have been reading it, so I've definitely been looking forward to this one. So all those five came from Touchstone, so thank you so much to Kelsey and Touchstone for sending those my way. Then I have two from Booksparks, which again fit into this like mystery kind of realm, which I am loving, cannot get enough of, and I'm just really happy to see a lot of spring releases for it, because typically I feel like that's more of a fall thing. Um, the first one is going to be Christina Dodd's Dead Girl Running, so definitely keep an eye out for this one, and then Rosne, Our Little Secret, is also coming out. Now I believe both of these are coming out on April 24th, at least that's what it said on the books. Um, and I did put a little poll up to see which one of these I should read first because I think they both sound really good. I couldn't decide on it. And I feel like, if I remember correctly, a lot more people leaned towards our little story. So I'll probably be starting that in April. Like I said, don't know what to expect with the baby on the way, but I think these two reads are definitely up there. So definitely stay tuned to see what's going to show up on my TBR, what I'll be reading, all of that good stuff. Um, you can hit the subscribe button down below, and if you guys want to be notified the second a video goes live, you can hit that little bell icon. Um, moving forward to Amazon, we have uh, See Her Run by Peggy Townsend. This actually takes place in the Nevada desert, which is so cool because I live in Nevada, and I think finding books that are written in your neck of the woods is always definitely a plus, and I think it sounds interesting, and it takes place here, so I mean, of course I'm excited for that. Um, let's see. Then I got sent Bluff by Michael Cardos, and this came from um, Grove Atlantic, so I want to thank them for sending this my way. It also came with a cute pack of little cards. I always love a little bit extra kind of a PR touch to things. It just makes it a little bit more special, and especially with it relating to the book. So I'm definitely intrigued by the kind of magical um, kind of playing, like the card of hands kind of thing. I think it sounds really interesting. Um, I'm not sure if this one's coming out or what the release date is. I will leave that linked below for you guys, but I also want to give you guys like a little heads up that I've got another copy of this, so you guys are going to definitely want to follow me on Instagram. There will be some kind of giveaway coming up, and it's, yeah. So you guys are getting the first insights to this one. Then I won a giveaway uh, from my friends. She reads with cats, um, Janelle over there, and she did a giveaway with fresh water. And I think this is so intriguing. I love the cover. I've seen a lot of really great reviews. It was one that I feel like kind of like ninja you. Like it snuck up and I saw everybody kind of talking about it and then it kind of like disappeared again. So I don't ever really remember hearing, you know, other than when it was first coming out a lot about it. So, but I think it sounded like from what I remember reading, it sounded really intriguing. And I feel like a lot of, like I said, my close friends were reading it right as it released. So I'm excited to dive in, um, and again, cover's always beautiful, so that can't hurt, but, so I just want to say thank you to Janelle for hosting that giveaway, that was awesome. Then I am working with uh, Get Red PR for the launch of Somebody's Daughter by Rochelle B. Weinstein, so this is another one that's going to be coming out. Sounds really good, a nice, like, women's fiction kind of read, going to be perfect for spring break or, like, a beach read, I feel like. Um, we'll see how that actually turns out, but looking forward to that one. Then the last books are all from authors who have sent them to me, so I just want to say thank you guys for that. The first one is going to be uh, Liz Fenton and Lisa Steinke, I believe. Um, they have a new one coming out called Girls' Night Out. It is released on July 24th. It's got a cool cover, and it's got a really cool premise to it as well. A nice mystery here. Um, and then they were really kind and sent me The Good Widow which was their first book, and I have been following these guys for a little bit. Um, I saw so much hype around The Good Widow and was so thrilled when they reached out to do a review copy for Girls' Night Out. So these ones are definitely high on my TBR list as well. Again, it doesn't come out till July, so it might not be right away, but it's definitely coming. Then uh, Sarah Shepard is the author for Pretty Little Liars. I have not read the books, but it was a guilty pleasure of mine to watch the show, and I absolutely loved it. And I did a poll out there the other day to ask about Pretty Little Liars, the book series, and everybody seems to really enjoy it and loved it. So I feel like I missed out on that, so I might have to go back and read it. 
Although this next book is not a YA, apparently, um, but it is by Sarah Shepard. It's called The Elizas. Sounds so amazing, and it comes out April 17th, so you guys will definitely want to keep your eyes out for it because I think it's going to be really great. I love the sounds. The cover's really cool, and it's just getting, you know, like I said, she's she's so big now with Pretty Little Liars, and there's even like a spinoff series happening, and so... I just think you cannot go wrong, especially after hearing so many people talk about how great the writing was for the Pretty Little Liar books. It made me feel like I really missed out on something. So might have to read those, but then I'm definitely excited to read this and just kind of see where things fall um, and if she's going to start being like an autobi author or somebody that I really enjoy and constantly have to pick up her new work. Um, and then lastly, I have this book, which I'm so happy for. It comes out June 26th. It is called All We Ever Wanted by Emily Giffen, and I got to work with Emily on her last release, uh, First Comes Love. I got an early copy of it, got to read, review it, shared tons of photos, and then Emily was really sweet and shared the same photos and then was always commenting, and it was so, so cool to be able to interact with her. And then I don't remember if there was a giveaway or they just did it for certain bookstagrammers or what, but I ended up getting like the softest cutest little graphic tee that had like the cover of the book on it and everything and so that was really like a special little touch um and so I'm thrilled to be working with Emily again on the release of All We Ever Wanted so I think it's again another really beautiful cover she always has great stories some of you may know they've been turned in um to movies and been like adapted you know and so I think this is just so much fun and she's a really cool author to follow on Instagram as well so I will leave that linked below between Dolly and her kids and the kind of like behind the scenes look of what it actually takes from her writing the story to it being edited to seeing it being, you know, printed for arts and then final distribution and all that. It's just so cool. So definitely someone you guys should follow if you don't already. And again, really amazing, great books. And she's been an author I've loved to not only dive further into her like writing and everything, but getting to know her a little bit on the more personal side. So yes, so those are all of the books that I got during the month of March. Whew, it was pretty lengthy, especially because I can't breathe very well these days. Um, but yeah, so if you guys saw one that you guys are really excited for, you want me to read, like, probably not ASAP, but like, definitely bumped up the list and you want it sooner than later, please comment and let me know below. Otherwise, I have March wrap-up, I have an April TBR, and I'm going to try to pre-film a couple other videos. I don't know what's gonna happen when baby gets here. I probably won't be as active. So I'm definitely gonna try to pre-film a couple videos there. Um, and then like I kind of mentioned mid-video here, if you guys wanna subscribe if you haven't already, and then definitely hit that bell notification if you guys aren't um, getting notifications already. That way you guys are notified the second a video goes live. So that's my spiel today. Hopefully this video, it didn't take too long. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and found a couple books that you'll be adding to your TBR as well. Again, all the links, all the information, all the good stuff is down below in the description box. Um, and feel free to comment if you have any other questions. And I will be seeing you guys around. So definitely stay tuned and I will see you in the next one. Bye.